Hi, it's Jo here in Glastonbury and I've just had an amazing day today. Uh, it's quite late that I'm doing the recording tonight because it's just been really full on day. Uh, it's Monday the 24th of April 2017 and today in the Mayan it is Blue Planetary Monkey. So it's a really, really magical day. Monkey is the energy of the child, the divine child, that is transparent and free of all wounding so that the human being can be here on planet Earth, coming from a place of wisdom and being in a really heart space uh, because it's in the green castle of the heart. So any planetary day is a manifestation day. So if your sign is planetary, if you've got planetary in your Mayan sign, if you've got a planetary moon, then the time now is planetary moon time as well. So it's a really profound time of seeing what we've manifested. Just a check on Blue Monkey Dates. Um, when we were in the Blue Monkey Wave Spell, which is the centre of the Zolkin, it's the wave spell that runs down right down the middle. That was from the 14th of January to the 26th of January in this particular spiral. And if you want to check out um, all the dates, they are on my blog. And the heading is Spiral, the 6th of September 2016. And it lists all the wave spell dates. So I've actually got to the point now where I can start to tie things in and with the Gregorian calendar just to cross over and cross reference. So any day 10 is in the astrological chart, it's the 10th house it's the mid heaven it's what the heart desires to create and my offering to you is that the heart desires to create peace and healing and live from a heart space having learned whatever we need to learn this time around and to be able to totally come into our heart space in forgiveness and acceptance of everything that's happened to us in our personality story. So yeah, nice idea. It's not always that easy to do. And at the moment with all these challenging times, it can be really, really tricky um, because it is the time for people to become very aware of everything that isn't in heart space. And there is quite a lot of that, isn't there, at the moment, coming up. So this day is really about um, how we are in our heart space, how free we are, how we're not getting dragged into the drama, you know, how we're just being able to see the pure magic of everything that's going on around us. And... Um, I've had uh, a mixed day today of things happening. Yeah. And this is my cat, Basil. Say hello, Basil. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's been mixed because things have happened uh, that I've had to sort out on a practical level. And um, I know that not in the very distant past I would have found that challenging and it would have triggered me and I would have probably gone into a bit of a spiral of um, fear and doubt. And, um, but now I just go faster into acceptance. And I think that's what living in, in Glastonbury especially has shown me. It's a very different place to live. It's a very magical place to live. And it's also uh, full on because it does really bring up what you need to look at. You know, it's a real place of amplification. And um, today I've met with a couple of friends. It's just been wow um, what they've been sharing with me, and I've not really had time to digest it yet. And I, I will be 
uh, posting things about it. Hopefully, in the really near future, I will be blogging about things that I've learned today. Um, two creation projects, really, as well, um, both in the pretty near future. And this is what I'm doing this year, very much about creating adventures, really, for people to go on and connect to these amazing sacred landscapes and just see what has been left there for our time capsule, really. Um, yeah, today, I've, uh, this evening, I've just been with uh, David Hatfield, who is uh, connected to the King Arthur pub in Glastonbury. And he came along to a workshop I had recently about the Mayan wave spell at the Glastonbury Positive Living Group. And um, it was just an amazing event, really, with a lot of people coming and saying they wanted to do community projects. And David, in particular, was telling me that there used to be a crystal court in Glastonbury um, several years ago, and that he really wanted to uh, restart that, you know, rebirth it. So that's what we're going to do. And it's really, really exciting. Um, so I hope that people will come and connect. Um, I'll be sharing information about that on Facebook and it's coming up really, really soon. So I'm not gonna go into to all the detail on here because uh, I'm trying to keep these short. Um, but yeah, so today has been really, really magical. He shared um, his knowledge with me around um, the Glastonbury Zodiac and uh, something that he's been really connected to for a long time and especially with the Mayan um, he shared some documents with me as well which I've not seen before and um, yeah I'm just so grateful it's just been amazing because it's really opened up um, loads of inspiring things for me and it's built on um, what I've been learning so far and this is what I love about being in Glastonbury as well. People are really generous and they share things and they want to create things. And um, there's so many things opening up now around these old legends and these old myths and, you know, things are really coming to light, especially on the land, uh, you know, with the energy and the ley lines opening up as well. So my other friend, um, again, has amazing knowledge and um, we're intending to create a trip to a sacred site in Ireland again this year. Um, so more about that. Uh, another friend that I am working with as well, um, who is um, really into the Mayan as well, like me, um, and sharing the information about it. Uh, we're putting together a retreat uh, later on this year, which again, this is what I love about the Mayan calendar, because it can really help you uh, align with the perfect time to share and co-create new ways of being with people really and um, frameworks around helping people to come into balance, helping people to come into alignment and especially in amazing places you know that have this history, that have this uh, electricity about them, that have this energetic footprint um, that already holds all of this healing energy, balancing energy. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really excited. And I just feel, you know, it's just such a magical year. Um, all the potentiality is there. I'm going to be doing things that really set my heart on fire. And that, that is so important for people to really get in touch, you know, with that child part of us that is just enthusiastic, you know, he's just full of energy, he's just full of joy, and just really wanting to share that with other people and um, has been repressed, you know, for such a long time. Um, and now, even though it feels challenging at the moment, this is all part of the, you know, taking the lid off and taking the frameworks out that have been put there um, to suppress the spirit, the true nature of people. So today we're in Aries Sun 
and we sorry we're in Taurus <laughs> and um, we are in um, Aries moon okay so we're still um, in this dark moon energy because we don't go into the new moon until Wednesday so I'm just going to read you the degree that it is now uh, which again is so synchronistic because the energy that it's going to be in um, when we're doing the retreat later on in the year in Catalonia is going to be hold this energy as well okay so uh, we've got Aries at 11 degrees and again this is from a channeled work inside degrees and um, if you want to know more about that I will post that underneath the uh, video it's Aries at 11 degrees sunlight illuminating dust in the air the marvel is that the observer exerts so strong a presence yet disappears into the atmosphere. You find yourself to be centrally pivotal, yet subtly underlying a pure witness to the objective turn of events. You inhabit the edge between self-will and a higher will. You hold to the sharp borderline between the infinite and the finite, so that you can create yourself anew out of whole cloth transformation can take many forms. You are endowed here with power of wishing, the capacity to visualize and imagine whatever comes next. An astounding skill at coming back to life, recreating everything, taking into yourself worlds ending and worlds beginning. All is poised within. A way of looking at things that magnifies the wonder and overcomes all of the dross in a strong quest to find yourself amidst the debris of lost worlds and to salvage the dream and the vision. So that's, you know, the quest. Jason and the Argonauts um, set sail in the Aries time, of this, you know, Aries sun. And so, again, we're just revisiting that energy now but in the moon form and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier on but yeah blue monkey planet is Venus the 260 day wave spell is all about Venus you know it's all about transforming our ego so that we are wise so that we live in harmony with everyone and everything else and yes <laughs> it's going to take a while uh, but it's happening it's really happening you know people are starting to wake up people have an innate goodness I believe and you know it's just that we haven't had the skill haven't had the consciousness the knowledge before about how to do this and how to live respectfully and live and let live and I really feel that this is happening now. So I hope you've had an amazing day of being in your heart space and seeing the magic because it's always there, isn't it? You know, when we really look, when we get our cells out of the way, really, it's always there. So lots of love and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.